Where do the parents go that were really just ineffective and they need to know how to be effective? If they're men, I don't know. My father, honestly, he was shit, mate. You're talking about fathers, dads. What are they reaching into? Who are they bonded to? Probably talking about a generational group of fathers that have come from broken families. Let's go back to Armadale now. There was a crackdown by police there on a teen brawl and it came with a warning. And obviously that manifests itself into our community. But I do know that if your dad is in your life, that that will have a big impact. Well, man, I've had me ups and downs. I really have, I've, I've struggled. Wife walked out, uh, wants nothing to do with the kids. I didn't know how to communicate emotionally. My mum hates me, mate, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm an ass, mate. Some of them just don't have the skill set to be the, the best dad they want to be themselves because they've never had someone walk the journey with them. Because we know dads perhaps find it a bit harder than, than mums to talk to other men to find out what being an effective father is about. I was invited to a fathering project barbecue. I thought I was the only father. In my situation, it turns out I'm not. We get this message as men that you're not very strong if you show any weakness. Your best mates, they walk off. One of my mates, he said, you're not the same guy, mate. I said, of course I'm not the same guy. I've lost everything, mate. This is the only group that these men are a part of where they actually come and talk about fathering. I understand why a father in my situation would lose it. You know about me now. We're talking about dads that have had generational examples imprinted upon them in terms of the way they go about fathering. You see your behaviour? It's shit, mate. Is that right, buddy? Right. My behaviour is shit. It is. I'm not under any illusions that I'm going to change that in six months. And the war will continue to rage on, man. Unless we refuse to lay down. So granny niggas. Unless we refuse to no longer go quietly into the night and declare with defiance with a war cry. It's um, the best job I've had. <laughs> to be a witness to somebody else's pain is such a rare thing. He's nice, he's funny, he's loving, he's everything. It's more powerful than giving someone a solution.